Imagine that you've been asked to set up a voice and communication system for a small school or a business or a startup that you're part of. The type of system that we're familiar with, with prompts, press one for sales, two for accounting, three for Bob. A system that allows me to have status messages and voicemail and different types of prompts and maybe even a system that provides conferencing and live chat and messaging. A system that integrates with other services like WhatsApp and Facebook and YouTube allows you to have a customer contact you and communicate with you directly through a web interface. That might sound like it's both complex and pretty expensive that you're going to go and have to get some specialty help and some expertise in order to install that for you and then you're going to have to pay quite a bit for that service. Well, in this video, I'm going to show you just how easy it is to set that up and how you can do it absolutely free. The sponsor of this video, 3CX, actually gives you this functionality for free and not 14 day free, special offer free, 30 days free, it's free free. They have a 3CX free tier that is free to use if you're a smaller business or a startup. It has some limitations, it's 10 extensions, but it certainly has a ton of features that will get you started on a journey of communicating with both voice and messaging and live chat and web integration, all using their free product. It's actually quite impressive and it's easy to use. I'm actually going to break this video into two parts. So the first part, I'm going to talk a little bit about voice and communications and telephone systems. It's an important skill to have. And then I'm going to talk about 3CX free tier specifically and demonstrate how to set it up. So if you're familiar with terms like PBX and trunk lines and SIP and all of those types of things that relate to voice and telephone communication, then you can skip to the second part where I demonstrate 3CX free. Uh, check in the description below. I'll put some markers down there, a table of contents. My intention is that by the end of this video, you'll be confident in setting up your very own voice and communication system and that you'll actually go and do it. Now, one of the things that I will mention is if we want to connect our system to the outside world, then we will have to acquire an outside phone number, and I'll show you how to do that as well. So I guess that would be part three of the video, but acquiring a phone number from a telco provider is actually an expense. So you do have to pay for an external telephone number, but it's not very much compared to buying an entire system off of a telco provider. So your system internally will be completely free. I'll even show you how you can use it at geographic distance. And if you want to connect it to the external public network, then you may have to purchase a phone number. And I'll talk about that as well. When you think of a global interconnected network of communication, chances are you might immediately think about the internet. But in fact, the internet really didn't become commercially viable until about the mid 1990s, so past 30 years. Prior to that, the big communication network around the world and still all around the world is the telephone system. In fact, we used to use the telephone system with a modem in order to transmit data over the telephone system. And it was really interesting because about 25 years ago, when I became a certified Cisco Academy instructor, a lot of the students in my classes were telco people that were trying to migrate into an IP-based world. Transmission control protocol, uh, internetwork protocol, sometimes called TCP IP, or just IP networks. Those networks were data networks. We would have a separate network for data, we would have a separate network for telephone and voice, we would have a separate network for audiovisual, a security system network. Well, these have converged over the years. However, voice still remains one of the main ways that we communicate with each other, especially in a business environment where let's say the accounting department needs to call the HR department. As an individual, you probably have a phone number, either on your cell phone or your home phone or both. And that number is assigned to you and is part of a public telephone network. You pay every month for that. Now, if you're a business and you have a number of different departments or individuals, paying for each of them to have their own phone number can really start to add up. Instead, what you might want to do is give them an extension within that closed system. So you might want to be able to give an extension to accounting and HR so that when they need to talk, they just use whatever device they have, a handset or a cell phone, and they dial the extension and get connected to their coworker. 
In order to do that, what we have to have is something called a PBX software or private branch exchange. The private branch exchange is a closed system for your organization and it can be small and it can be large and 3CX free allows you to have a free up to 10 extension system without having to incur any cost. So you can actually have different extensions for up to 10 different extensions where HR can call accounting and accounting can call HR. And this can be a global organization as well because those extensions can be assigned to individuals at different geographies. That private branch exchange creates for effectively your own private telephone company that you control. You control the extensions, the messaging, everything that has to do with that PBX. Now we can also connect that PBX to the outside world. And the way that we connect the PBX to the outside world is by acquiring something called a trunk line. Now the trunk line can have an inward trunk line and an outbound trunk line. So there, or even a bi-directional trunk line as well, but we have inbound, outbound, and bi-directional trunks. A lot of times what we'll do is do this over the internet as well, over the data network with something called an SIP. What that does is it takes this private branch exchange that you have and it connects it to the outside world. Now I have one phone number that's on the external side of things and any customer or individual that dials that number will not be connected to an individual in my organization. They'll be connected to my PBX and the way that I configure my PBX will determine what happens next. A lot of times what I'll do is I'll give them a prompt. I'll say press one for accounting, press two for HR and through that external number and the connection that they have to my PBX, they will then be able to choose where they are routed within my organization. Now I'm paying for one phone line, but I have the functionality of up to 10 extensions on the internal side. That's with 3CX free. But now you understand the basics of a private branch exchange being your own personal phone company, a connection out to the publicly switched telephone network system being something that we can acquire that does have a cost because the telephone companies do charge you for those phone numbers but I will also show you how we can do that inexpensively. So let's go take a look at 3CX and setting up our completely free internal telephone system. The website gives us a really good overview of what the product is all about. You can see that we can do things like chat with customers off our website. A lot of different companies use 3CX and we're going to go in, we'll try it out. In fact, we'll be able to go in, sign up with our Google or an email account and we'll be able to use it free forever, the, the 10 client version. Once I've registered and filled out some information, I'll have a login for my 3CX environment. I can use my Google account or I can use the account I created when I logged in or what I, that I used to log in. I'll then be given a client. So I'll have my own portal to go into and I'll be the administrator of this portal. So I'll go in, I'll use my credentials. Again, I can use my email address and password or I can log in. In my case, I logged in with my Google account. I registered with my Google account and I now have the portal. It'll automatically go through and give me the option to go through and set up this environment. So I'll go to the administrative settings and I'll be able to set up some users. So I can do users, I can set up the environment, get reports, get all sorts of administrative information. If I go in here, you can see I've added some users. I'll add a new user. So I'm going to add a new user called Hank. It's as simple as filling out the form. So I'll fill it out. I'll assign the user to a group. In this case, I'll make Hank an owner. So I put in some information in the form and now I select what type of user Hank's going to be. And I don't have any inbound lines, so you won't see anything show up for the inbound lines, but I create the user. I'll now have a unique uh, uh, URLs for the user. I'll be able to set up call forwarding, set up a schedule for the user. I'll be able to really customize this user for the environment that I've created. I can also even set up the way that the lights on their IP phone work, depending on whether you have a message or that there's a voicemail waiting, whatever it may be. And I can go in and I have a number of different options that I can set for this user. I'll save it and now Hank Dahlberg is a user. 
Hank will receive an email from 3CX, which gives them gives him all of the information that he's going to need, we give him the extension that's been assigned to him, will give him information on how to log into the portal for the first time. The first time he'll go and set a password for himself. It'll set passwords for his voicemail and such, set up his, uh, his dialing and everything. It's all set up for him. And now he'll go in, he'll set his password. So I'll put a password there and he'll be presented with a, a, the ability to connect up a mobile device. I'm going to be using an iPhone with Hank, so I'll install the app, I'll scan the QR code, and my account is set up on the phone. I can now phone and be receiving calls as Hank. So now I have Hank logged into the computer. You can see I've got Hank logged into the computer. He's available for calls, so Frank is going to give him a call. I'll put in his extension, and I'll press call. We see a call coming in. I'll answer it. There'll be a bit of echo here. Hello, Frank. Frank. Hello, Hello, Hank. Hello, Hello Frank. Frank. Hello, Hello, Hank. There we go. We've now placed a call with all of the different calling features. Now, I could be on the road somewhere. I could be in a different country. And just by dialing the extension, I would come back to Hank's computer and vice versa. So here I am and I've got the 3CX app currently on my computer. I'll show you how to get that in a moment. And you can see I've got my team here, myself and Hank Dahlberg. And if I go in here, you can see I can set my status quite easy. I can do things like set a temporary status. I can set things like overriding the schedule. So if I have a schedule for the office and administrative office hours, I can override it for myself as an individual, set my ringer, all sorts of different things. I'm not going to go through everything. It'll be a very long video, but you can see that this is a very robust solution that has a lot of options. If I go into the chat, for example, you can see I've got Hank here. Maybe I'll go and say something to Hank, you know, did you get the report? And that's going to actually show up on my phone because I'm logged in here as Hank and I can say yes. And in fact, what I could do is I could even go through and I could attach images and such. So I'll just take an image here. I'll use my camera and you can actually see my studio because I'll send that to you and you can actually see the studio up here as it appears to me while I'm doing my video here. I just have to send that and it'll pop up and you'll see that I have an image there. So you can see all sorts of chats. I can go into a meeting. Now the meeting here will use whatever camera that I've set up. I have any camera that I have an option of here. So you can see here it's actually using an integrated web camera that I do not normally use. But if I have other cameras, I can connect up to them. And if they're, they have to be available, but I can go in and then that becomes my meeting camera and because I'm using the camera to videotape it's not going to show here right now I can go in to see what calls we've had I can look at my panel to see what calls are in progress I can bring in contacts I can check my voicemail on the computer if somebody's left me a voicemail I can even go into the settings now the settings are quite interesting there's a lot here again I'm not going to go through everything but things like putting in my mobile number my language preference I could change it from a dark theme to a light theme whatever works for me I have a lot in there the one that I do want to show you are my greetings you'll notice I always have call forwarding and audio video but I'll go into my greetings and you'll notice that they're all set to play the default greeting but I could record my custom greeting so I'm going to record a custom greeting and uh, I'll call this Frank greeting so this is me and I'm going to say okay and it's going to call me and I'm going to answer it and record my greeting so it's going to ask record me record your message then press pound hello you've reached Frank thank oh that didn't work out so well so what am I going to do I'll hit pound to save message press zero to repeat recording press one record your message then press pound hello you've reached Frank thank you so much for calling please leave a message and I'll get back to you as soon as possible to save message press zero to repeat recording press I'll save it as zero message saved and now I've saved that message if I want to go through I can then assign that Frank greeting to any of the available or any of the specific um, um, types of statuses that I have. So I'll just do the first few and let's play it. So it calls me. Hello, you've reached Frank. Thank you so much for calling. 
So there you go. I now have greetings that I can customize for each of my status messages. That's a useful one. We can also integrate this with a customer relationship management software and there's, and we can get that QR code again, set the lights on my IP phone, <clears throat> lots of different settings that I can have here. The additional thing that I can do is I can go into my apps so I can get an Android app, an iOS app, which will give me the scan code. This is the Windows app that I'm using to demonstrate this right now. So it's really a web part app. I can get the desktop app, right? So it's a separate dialer that I can use and I can even put it as an edge browser extension. So there are many ways to incorporate my, my phone system into my workflow. And that's really the power of a tool like this, where I have my PBX and I can really customize the way that communication flows into my organization and the way that I deal with that communication when it does come in. It's pretty impressive to me that 3CX free edition exists, that I can have somebody on the East Coast with an iPhone, on the West Coast with a computer, somebody wandering the world with an Android device, and that I can reach them easily for voice communication, chatting and messaging and video conferencing, just by using the extension that I assigned them in the software. Super easy to use, super easy to manage, but yet very powerful in terms of its functionality. Now, in my case, I did connect it out to the external network. So I did go to a provider in my area that provides phone lines. I paid $20 a month for a phone line. I actually ended up getting two of them and that allows it to connect into the PBX and then be routed to that individual. But imagine this, I have a local phone number now. Somebody can dial that local phone number, press the extension of the individual that they're looking for, and they can literally make an Android device in another country ring and have a voice conversation with that person without me incurring any additional charges. That's a pretty impressive thing to be able to do and something that I'm looking forward to doing more with. If you're interested in 3CX free edition, check out their website and comment down below on whether you're going to try it out just to see how it works within your environment. If it's something you think you're going to use for just internal communication, or if it's something that you're going to use as foundation for internal communication and then connect to the public network. It's very interesting software. I do encourage you to go and check it out. And I think you're going to find that the functionality it provides adds a lot of value to your small business, your startup, or if you're a small school, any time Time where you need to have collaboration with 10 or less, you're going to be able to do that absolutely free. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in the next video.